when we went and got his hair cut yesterday, we told the guy, who's a big soccer fan, how awesome today was going to be. So we were trying to decide what kind of haircut to do. And then we decided that the LR for Luis, because he's been like a mentor to them, giving him, uh, you know, kind of encouragement on how to play the game and how to work hard to get there. Right? <laughs> We were excited for today and got up and I was looking at my time hop and it just happened to come up that six years this week he was diagnosed. And I was thinking I wish I could go back and tell my, myself six years ago that it was going to be okay. So I, I feel very thankful in this opportunity. I just feel like, you know, the whole message that this disability won't stop him from pursuing his dream, which right now is being a soccer player. It's just, I can't even tell you, it was just emotional day for us, so but I feel very, very blessed. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you want to take a water bottle for the car? Actually, Jack, just take that. Take a water bottle. I want you drinking it in the car. No, you'll have stuff there. Just have water. He's got to hydrate. There is going to be stuff there. There's a lot of stuff there. Everyone get a drink, get shoes on. Yeah, we'll have a drink there, I said. Just have a water. Medicine. This is uh, Jack's rescue meds. God forbid he has a seizure more than three minutes. We have to give him that. Andrew has rescue meds a little different because he's 16, so that goes underneath his lip if he has a seizure more than two minutes. We have peanut allergies in the family, so we have lots of EpiPens. And we have Benadryl. And wherever we go, this is what we have to bring. So we're good. We have meds. We have water for Jack. I think we're good to go. All right. Tickets. Kids. We're good. All right. Let's go. What, when game we need to win. Seven. Game starts at 7. I think the official kickoff is 7.08, according to my schedule. There you go. All right. Ready? Let's go Red Bulls. Do you have keys, Daddy? Yes. Okay. Is that locked? All right. I can't even speak enough about Luis. I mean, his just giving back to the community is amazing. And when he came that day at the hospital, I didn't know if Jack would know him because sometimes when you're not in the same uniform, you know, but he knew right away. He's like, oh my God, wrong place. I just think it's amazing how much, you know, you're taking time out of your life and he has his own family to come and, and, and give back to other kids. It's it's really a wonderful thing. I can't, I can't say enough about the organization and everyone involved, you know, that put this together because it really is like a, like a, I don't even know. Jack said it's gonna be the best day of my life and I think he's right. You know, when he woke up this morning, he's like, I think this is gonna be the best day of my life. I said, I think you're right. <laughs>